Hello, guys. Welcome to another episode of Anime Power Talk. This is going to be very fast. He found some sport karate illustrated the dojo in that human. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. But today we're going up to the north side. <laughs> I'm sure it's cold up there. That's why I'm in Florida now. I don't like the cold. This person I actually didn't meet until probably the mid-'80s. However, I did see her compete in Brooklyn, New York, of all places. They used to say Region 12. The last name of the time was Bannon. And it was interesting because the uniform was a yellow one. kind of reminded me of Enter the Dragon. It was so cool. And it didn't feel that much. I mean, she was kind of thin and she had this big uniform. But I'm allowed to make fun of her because I know her for uh, quite a few years. Anyway, she was able to win, my God, world championships and fighting forms of weapons multiple times. She was able to well, parlay into other industries such as entertainment as a stunt woman. And she teaches martial arts. She's a mother of a few children. And, and I'm getting tired of saying all this stuff because – she, she's all over the place in the sense that she's been around for a long time. Uh, I'm not sure if she ever had a face lift or, or a tummy tuck or anything like that because her body and her face looks like she probably goes back in time to the 80s, so maybe she'll give some secrets. Without further ado, I'm not sure how to probably address her, but my friend, Christine Bannon Rodriguez. Are you there, miss? I'm doing great. How are you, Jerry? I, I'm doing super good and getting better. Someone told me that thing. Now, I know you have a crazy, crazy schedule, and I appreciate your time. So what I want to do is this. I'm going to put myself on mute for a second, because I'm going to ask you, in the beginning, what was either your motivation, your desperation, or inspiration to begin in the martial arts, the style and and also the year, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, Well, you know, I don't have any uh, big story there of being picked on or anything like that. I was just... uh, I was back in 1980, and um, I just did it with a girlfriend. Just, you know, I've done a lot of different sports. Uh, I did figure skating and gymnastics and played basketball, and I played softball and, um, you know, just about everything that there was I got involved in. I, I did fine with them, nothing I really excelled in or really fell in love with. And a friend said, you know, her brother was taking karate at the school in the neighborhood, and and asked me if I wanted to go with her. She wanted to check it out. So I said, okay, you know, I'm game. So just went with her and, um, you know, tried it out. And, you know, it was pretty much not something I would have ever imagined that I would be doing. But um, I really, really fell in love with it. I I enjoyed it. There was uh, mostly um, males in the class. There weren't too many girls. Uh, But, you know, it was just something that we did for an after-school activity. And, um I fell in love with it. I, I would say within a year she quit, and I just stayed with it and, you know, been in love with it ever since. Well, what school was it? What style? Who's the instructor? Give me more. Tell me more. Okay. Um, it was Don Rodriguez Karate Academy, uh, the same place that I'm still at. And, uh, you know, my husband, um, Don Rodriguez, was the instructor, and, you know, we were actually – he never had a, a commercial school. He he had two different schools. One he taught in a garage behind his house, and the other one was where I first started. It was in the back of a bakery. So his student, uh, one of his students, ran a bakery, and they were probably open, you know, early morning until like one or two, and then they closed. And they had this big back area that they didn't use. They only had the the storefront that they used, and the the big back area, we would use it at night, and he would teach karate there. So it was uh, very close to my home, and that's where I taught. I mean, that's where I took the classes and, you know, eventually ended up marrying my instructor. But <laughs> I, I was not uh, um, dating him for many years. <laughs> wow. So, listen, I, you know, we actually interviewed him a few years back. I'm not sure if you heard it. If you haven't, or well, I'll send you the link to it. But he ever said he started in the school. And then again, I never asked him where he started teaching at. What he did mention was a few things that was interesting years after in terms of um, when they got exposed to EFC, and he said it was, if this crazy Puerto Rican can do it, he can do it too. So that was a whole other story. But um, it, it's interesting. So now, when did you start your competition? Because that's something that I think you've made a very, very good career out of. Um, I started competing uh, probably after being in karate for about a year. Um I remember the first tournament I ever competed in, they used to call the divisions, you know, Pee Wee and Junior, and, you know, that that was the name of the divisions for kids. And I was 13. And- Three, 
created using Powtoon.